It was deemed the Hypixel Killer, but it was instead killed before it ever really took off. But how did this happen to Tubnet, one of the most hyped up servers in Minecraft history, made by one of the most famous Minecraft creators today? Tubnet was announced as a rebrand of the event server of the same name that was released in 2019 on July 17th, 2022, as a minigame server that was cross-compatible between both Bedrock and Java. The release date was set for a month later on August 26th, 2022, and the hype around Tubnet at this time was huge, with the announcement video getting 3.1 million views. In comparison, Hypixel's launch trailer only got 1.1 million views, and look where that got them. How could Tubnet fail now? On the day before the intended launch date, Tubnet put out a statement on their YouTube channel saying that the service provider and server hosting site they were using ran into issues while processing the sheer number of players attempting to join the server. They remained silent about the release date until November 16th, where they said they were releasing the server 9 days later on November 25th, but no longer on both versions. They said that Bedrock was coming around 3 months later in early 2023. By this time, it seemed like they lost most of the hype that they had garnered, yet the server still launched about 4,000 players on release day, which by no means is a small amount. When it released, Tubnet had three games, Crystal Rush, which is a reskin of Bed Wars, Light Strike, which is a reskin of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and Spacebound, which hasn't been released yet. Both games were good, but didn't exactly have much replay value, so players started to leave after trying it out for a while. Just two weeks after the launch of the server, Tubnet had gone from 4,000 players to a mere average in the high 90s and low 100s. Compared to Hypixel, which the server was supposed to overtake and ultimately dethrone, had 0.4% of its player count at their daily peaks. But how did the server that was destined to be the biggest server in history decline this quickly? Well, Tubnet simply did not have enough replay value to keep people playing. Two games that are reskins of things you can find elsewhere isn't very captivating to the average player. But even if you disregard the games and look at how the server was hyped up and launched, you'll still see some cracks in the foundation, mainly the players they were trying to pander to. Tubnet was being promoted by YouTube channels such as Tubbo, Filza, and Tommy in it, who generally have younger audiences, and there was a strong chance that they did not play on Java Edition, whether that be because they didn't have a PC or because they had already gotten Bedrock Edition, and the Bedrock version was still stuck in development, and thus they could not play the server, which made the network lose a large majority of their player base as soon as they launched the server. You could potentially also say that the lack of communication within the community could also be a reason for the quick decline, as they announced both release dates within two weeks of when the server was supposed to launch.